there. My name is Joanne. I have dealt with makeup since I was itty bitty and I am here not so itty bitty anymore. Just turned 48 years old in on March uh, 19th. Um, I'd like to just start out with uh, the beginning. And here is where we actually are going to curl our lashes into our brows. I do this before anything because it's dry. It's going to stick and last through everything else we're going to put around it. Now you can see I have a lot of wrinkles on my forehead and I have dark circles under my eyes. This particular liner is a really good Mary Kay liner. It's blonde, and even though obviously I'm not blonde, if you start light and keep going over and over and over, you can get it about as dark as your hair or as dark as you'd like it. Now, before I put my makeup on, I'm using this Nao Bay Natural and Organic. Sometimes I use Mary Kay Wrinkle Fighter. Either way, you put your moisturizer on before you prepare your face for foundations. In this particular situation, I think we're going to start with this concealer that is great. And you're going to see how this is the magic of the entire process. This is a Mary Kay Yellow Concealer. Believe it or not, that turns dark spots away. It covers dark circles and red spots and blemishes. And you'll begin to see here that you can use this to pretty much mold your face. We're going to mold around that eyeliner and make the eyeliner be exactly how we'd like it to be. We're going to cover the spots that we want to kind of come out from our face. When you lighten it, you bring it out a little bit more. Of course, on my forehead, I'm actually kind of using it to fill wrinkles. <laughs> so you're already beginning.
starting to see that on one side of my face, it's lighter and brighter than the other.